The waves of death rose about me, the pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and from his holy temple he heard my voice. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut off, cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all the purse, pursuers and rescues me, rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me o God, is God, who saves the upright of heart, a just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not Scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is, ac is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, 
Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just briefly this morning, our readings are taking a bit of a, a turn now, and they will up into uh, and through Holy Week. We're starting to see now that in the both the first reading and uh, in the Gospel reading, times of trial, that things are turning, um, and, and people in the, there'll be various numbers of stories between now and uh, Palm Sunday, and actually all the way up to Holy Thursday, of uh, Old Testament uh, prophets and other uh, biblical figures that are going through some sort of moment uh, or trial or test of faith. All of these kind of things are prefiguring what is going to happen to Jesus. And in the gospel readings, they're all now kind of turning towards all of the, the things leading up to Holy Week, that we're starting to see more and more of the conspiracy that's taking place behind the scenes that is preparing for Jesus' eventual arrest and then leading to his crucifixion. So it's all kind of tying together now and preparing us, leading us into Holy Week. And I think it, it, it gives us somebody good, you know, to be able to identify with, right? We're going through in our own way, you know, obviously not in the, the same degree as the biblical figures in, in terms of the, their trials and especially not of Jesus. But it is making us think in a little bit different way as we go through this because we are losing a bit of our freedom. We're losing our ability to, you know, connect with one another in the ways that we want to. So it is a trial in a different sense. But I think that we can kind of look then to, you know, scripture as kind of a, a, a place of consolation. Because even in those places, especially in the Old Testament readings that we're hearing, that they always turn to God in the midst of their trials. And that may be a good lesson for each of us, that we're not struggling through all of this stuff alone, that God continues to walk with us, and that in the midst of our own personal trials, that we can turn to him as they did. The Lord has promised to hear the prayers of the faithful, and in faith we lift our, our prayers and attentions to him. For the church... May the Lord fortify and sustain her in her prophetic witness to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public authority, may the Holy Spirit grant them discerning hearts to know his will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are isolated by illness or age, may the grace of God's presence among them bring them consolation and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our families and loved ones, May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit conform us evermore to the heart and mind of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead, and may all who have died in the light of faith be welcomed into the everlasting joy found in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This morning I offer this Mass for all of those who are suffering through the virus, all of those who are impacted by it, that God may deliver all of them uh, to safety and, and to wholeness once again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the needs that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of hosts, hear these prayers which we give voice to today. Graciously grant all in which we pray according to your most holy will. We offer this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and God, great heart may be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice and our sin this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Build them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred pastoral feasts, and with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in the saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people, 
And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity and a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. We pray together an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. By the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished lamb, we have been redeemed.
Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us more fully pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just one uh, brief reminder that this evening um, we'll live stream the Mass beginning at 4 p.m. So that way it's available for the, the whole entirety of um, Saturday, Saturday evening and Sunday. So you're welcome, of course, to uh, watch us live at 4 p.m. But otherwise, it's available to you to um, pray the Mass at home uh, at any point during that weekend. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, as they draw near to the coming festivities. Bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everybody.